All right, let's get into a little tech detective story. We're going to call this one The Case of the Vanishing Volume Slider. You know that feeling, right? You're listening to something, maybe some music, and you're trying to get the volume perfect. But you can't, not without unlocking your phone. Well, if you felt that frustration, you are definitely not alone. For a couple of years, a really key tool for that exact job just disappeared. But, and this is the good news. After a whole two years of being gone, that handy little slider is finally, finally back. So, why is this such a big deal? Well, to get it, we have to talk about something we've all experienced. That quest for the perfect volume. Okay, so this really breaks it down. Your physical volume buttons, they're great for big changes, but they work in these fixed steps, right? And that's where you get that classic problem. One click is a little too quiet, but the very next one is just a bit too loud. The slider though, that's what gives you that smooth, fine-tuned control to land on that perfect audio sweet spot. And hey, it wasn't just about getting the volume perfect. For years, the actual volume indicator itself was, well, it was a huge pain. I'm sure you remember it. As iDownloadBlog said, the old volume HUD was super clunky and would just pop up right in the middle of your screen, blocking whatever you were trying to see. So that that history of awkward controls, having that slider on the lock screen felt that much more important. So if it was so useful, why did it disappear? This, my friends, is where our little mystery really begins. Let's just walk through the timeline here. Before 2022, everything was normal. The slider was just a standard part of the media player. Then, bam, iOS 16 drops, and it's just gone. MacRumors had a great way of putting it. They said it was unceremoniously nixed. And for two whole years, nothing. Until now. With iOS 18.2, it's finally been reinstated. And, you know, during that two-year gap, people were genuinely confused. Like, why would you take away such a simple, useful feature with zero explanation? It really became one of those classic, you don't know what you've got till it's gone situations. Okay, so that brings us to the big finale of our little mystery. Let's talk about how to get that slider back where it belongs. Now, getting it back is super simple, but here's the catch. You have to turn it on yourself. It's not on by default. So here's what you do. Open up your settings app. From there, tap on accessibility. Then look for audio and visual. And right in there, you'll see a toggle for always show volume control. Just flip that on. That's it, four little taps. And boom, just like that, you're all set. The very next time you're playing music or a podcast, you'll see that familiar, super useful volume slider right there on your lock screen. Mystery solved. All right, so we've brought back the best way to fine tune your volume from the lock screen. But while we're on the topic, let's quickly go over a few other ways you can really master your iPhone sound no matter where you are. So you've got the obvious ones, right? The physical buttons on the side, the slider you can pull down in your control center, and of course, you can just ask Siri to handle it. But there are a couple of other kind of power user tools that are really worth knowing about. I'm talking about assistive touch and the headphone safety limits. Let's zoom in on assistive touch for a second because this one's a real game changer. It's an accessibility feature that puts this little customizable floating button right on your screen. You can set it up to do pretty much anything including being your on-screen volume controls. And honestly, this is a lifesaver if your physical buttons ever break. Okay, so we've solved the case of the vanishing slider, and we picked up a few new tricks along the way. But here's the thing. This slider coming back isn't just a random one-off event. It's actually part of a much, much bigger story about the iPhone. What we're seeing here is a pretty big shift in Apple's whole approach. For so long, the iPhone experience was very one-size-fits-all, but lately there's been this really clear push towards personalization, and the lock screen is ground zero for that. Bringing the slider back, but as an option you can turn on, that's the perfect example of Apple giving users more choice. I mean, just think about it. This whole trend really exploded with iOS 16. All of a sudden, we could change our lock screen wallpapers, mess with the clock font and colors, add these really useful widgets, you can even tie different lock screens to your focus modes. And now with iOS 18, they're even letting us change the flashlight and camera icons at the bottom. It's a whole new world. It's just like MacRumor said, the lock screen is more customizable and more powerful than it has ever been. So bringing back the volume slider, it wasn't just about fixing a mistake. It was about adding one more piece to this huge puzzle of personalization, giving us more control over our own phones. So that kind of leaves us with one final question. Apple clearly listened to people on this one and brought back the volume slider. 
which makes you think, what's another small, maybe forgotten feature that you wish they would bring back next? Thank you.